Welcome to Science Tree Channel. Today's topic is electronegativity from class 9th chapter number 3. Electronegativity is nothing but to attract shared pair of electron towards itself in a molecule. To understand it in a better way, you can watch the movement like this. Electrons are trying to move on both sides. So in this way, electronegativity means to attract a shared pair of electron. Now here, we are talking about molecule. While in all other trends of periodic table, we have taken gaseous isolated atom. So in this way, now we have to talk about molecule when two atoms join together, they form a molecule. And we know that every atom wants to get stable. So to achieve that stability, the atoms will attract sheer pair of electron. But please remember, if I talk about noble gases or inert gases, which are included in group number 18 of the periodic table, they never fight for electronegativity. They never fight for electrons. And do you know why? Because they have complete octet shell. Their outermost shell is complete with 8 electrons. And any atom which has 8 electrons in its outermost shell is already stable. While all other groups of the periodic table can use the term electronegativity. They all fight for electrons. Some can lose electrons while other can gain electrons. So, in simple terms, electronegativity is the tendency or capacity to attract shared pair of electron towards itself in a molecule. Covalent bond, a bond that forms by sharing of electron between atoms. Now, why we need electronegativity to study covalent bond? Because electronegativity value decides that how much shared pair of electron will be attracted by one atom. Or we can say that how much time shared pair of electron will spend with one atom. It is dependent on the value of electronegativity. There are two types of covalent bonds, non-polar covalent bonds and polar covalent bonds. Bonding electrons will share equally between two atoms. That will be known as non-polar covalent bond. And when bonding electron will share unequally between two atoms, that will be known as polar covalent bond. In case of polar covalent bond, one atom have higher value of electronegativity than as compared to the other atom. So that's why inequality will occur and one atom will take shared pair of electron for more time than as compared to the other atom. So let's discuss it by example. Chlorine gas is an example of non-polar covalent bond. In case of non-polar covalent bond, electronegativity values of both atoms are same because both are same atoms. Here we are considering chlorine gas. Now what is your opinion? This shared pair of electron will be attracted towards both atoms equally. Am I right? Yes, I am right. This electron, this shared pair of electron will be attracted towards both atoms equally because both atoms have same electronegativity value. So, this is an example of non-polar covalent bond. While if I talk about polar covalent bond, in case of polar covalent bond, I have taken two atoms. One is hydrogen from group number 1 and one is chlorine from group number 17. Now as we move from left to right in a period, 
electronegativity value increases. So here hydrogen has less value of electronegativity as compared to chlorine. So what gonna be happened here? The shared pair of electron will attract it more towards chlorine than as compared to hydrogen. So that's why this dumbbell shape is more prominent at the side of chlorine than as compared to that of hydrogen. This type of a bond is known as polar covalent bond and in this type one atom has a bigger value of electronegativity than as compared to the other atom. Please remember as electronegativity is a tendency to attract shear pair of electron. It's just a relative value or we can say that it's a competition between a shear pair of electron to be attracted by both atoms. So that's why it has no units. Factors affecting electronegativity. If I talk about nuclear charge, increasing nuclear charge will increase electronegativity because shared pair of electron will be more attracted towards the nucleus and that way electronegativity value increases. And if I talk about atomic size, now if size of an atom is small, the shared pair of electron is more closer to the nucleus. And if the size of an atom is big, so definitely the shared pair of electron will move away from the nucleus. In that way, with the bigger size, the electronegativity value decreases, while with the smaller size, electronegativity value increases. And if I talk about bond order, do you know what is bond order? In case of bond order, when two atoms join together by means of a covalent bond, they form a bond order. Now here, carbon can join together with carbon by means of a single bond. It can be joined by means of a double bond or by means of a triple bond. With increasing bond order, the length of the bond is decreasing and with decreasing length, the two atoms are coming closer to each other. So that's why with increasing bond order, electronegativity value increases. So these are some factors on which electronegativity depends. Electronegativity along the period. It increases in period from left to right. And what is the reason? Higher effective nuclear charge is the reason. Because higher effective nuclear charge shortens distance from the nucleus of the shared pair of electron and thus enhances the power of electronegativity. Now if we consider period number 2, in period number 2 when we move from left to right in a periodic table, the electronegativity value increases. For lithium it is 1.0 and for fluorine it is 4.0. Now as the size of an atom is decreasing and the effective nuclear charge on the shared pair of electron will be increasing. So that's why when we move from left to right in a periodic table, electronegativity increases. And remember that fluorine has highest value of electronegativity in a periodic table. Now, what gonna be happened to electronegativity along the group? It generally decreases down the group. Reason size of the atom increases when we move from top to bottom in a group. Why? You all know it very well and I have explained it in detail in my previous lectures. That when we move from top to bottom in a group, shells will be added to accommodate more and more electrons. So that's why the size of an atom will increase and attraction of the nucleus for the shared pair of electron will decrease. So that's why electronegativity value decreases when we move from top to bottom. 
This is a halogen family, group number 17 in periodic table. Or we can say it that salt forming family. Now what is happening? As we are moving down the group, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine, the size of an atom is increasing and with increasing size, electronegativity decreasing. For fluorine, it is 4.0 while for astatine, it is 2.2. So that's why as we move down the group, size of atom increases and value of electronegativity decreases. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching.